Come hey, on. this is Katie yeah. interviewing Odinizer for TMS. First of all, like you guys introduce yourselves one by one, say your name, say hello. One by one. Uh, hello, hello, Karel, guitar, vocal. Color Grinder, <laughs> drums. Cameron, bass. <laughs> I'm on J and I use the microphone. You're kind of hiding in the corner there, man. I'm afraid of coming. He's trying to. I'm afraid of my brother watching. Cool. Him. Are you guys Big brother. Had, you guys have had a lot of lineup changes. Like, you used to be a singer before you were the drummer, weren't you? Like, how long has this lineup been together, this lineup? This like three years. years. Three years. Two or three. Two, two and a half. Two and a half. Approximately. So have you guys put out records together, like this particular yeah, lineup? Yeah, the last one, but you left the second singer, he's in London, mm. he left oh. the band. Yeah. So we, that are, we was recording five persons. Yeah. Oh, so it's easier with four. Yeah, yeah. we are using Yeah. We used more beer for us. Cheaper, <laughs> <laughs> more groupies. But, but usually we, we play because by ourselves, so. Ah, you no, it, you it's worse in this case. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, before Odinizer, you had a few different names. What made you stick with Odinizer, and how did you come up with that? Only one name. Yeah. Fatal catalepsy. Yeah. But it was only like, just first two gigs, like yeah, so uh, maybe one month or two months. Yeah. Since then we are we change. Odinizer. Why? Well, as I can read in the local newspaper, we are. Porno gore grind. So yeah. yeah, who told who told us <laughs> porno gore grind? Is it true? Is it true? Was it you who said that? Who said it was no, porno? I don't know, but we, <laughs> it's written in the news. We are really against porno gore grind. Not normal. But you're not against porno, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut in just while I can. We have a band here. Um, at the moment, they changed their name to DB Call. They used to be called Intense Hammer Rage, yeah. and they got in trouble for some very very. Uh, porno grind lyrics and they went the albums weren't censored they had songs about pedophilia and silly things like that and that they got fined and our customs took um, all of their second album from them so that's why the papers have jumped to the conclusion straight away that it's porno grind they, they hear grind they think that oh because it was an issue yeah nothing 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 common. Common. Exactly, it doesn't even sound the same. We all are like uh, porno stars, but we don't <laughs> play like porn. We like porn and grind, but not together. <laughs> not mix music and hobby. Like lyrically <laughs> and musically, we don't play. A serious like serious like grindcore, no porn yeah. grind. We play more like, like, like noise, punk, or something like that. Yeah. More old school. Right? So, can you give me a history of the band? Like how no, you guys met no, or got no. together? Yes. Probably just guys. Sure. It's only a long history. It's too long. It's like thirty. We started like twelve years ago. We two and yeah. another two. two. <laughs> another two guys. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And now we are back together. <laughs> and now yeah. you're in Australia. Yeah. So how yeah. did you guys end up getting? Most strong lineup now. Yeah. How do you end up getting booked for Australia, especially Hobart? As we he's the manager. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting money from them. For, <laughs> so you're the manager gig. as well? Uh, I don't know, the manager is just <laughs> making two gigs. I don't know, like you, you have you have uh, bands playing Grindcore in Australia, you have MySpace, you just contact them. Yeah. Oh, just on MySpace? Yeah, also. Uh, nice. You just find one band and then from one band it links to 10, 20 other bands. Mm -hmm. so it's pretty easy. You're a lot of time for that, yeah. My, mm -hmm. MySpace make like global Grindcore yeah. family. <laughs> Yeah, so how many so friends do you have on MySpace? <laughs> <laughs> How's more usually the Facebook group? Really, really. Facebook, yeah. Facebook kills MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> well, MySpace is better. Yeah. Yeah. For, for like bands. For bands is MySpace is really good. Mm. So, yeah. so what are your influences, like maybe one by one, favorite bands and influences? Yeah. I got the class. Hmm? I got the class, Anal Count. <laughs> uh, yeah. Rotten Sun, Nasum. Alright. Great. Grand Cross. Mm. Yeah. Root <laughs> Naked City, Abba. Abba! <laughs> yeah. I like Abba. <laughs> money, money, money. Yeah. It's the fun <laughs> in the rich man's world. So, can you guys remember your first gig? Like the first gig you played, maybe together, because. Yeah, like it was a very special place. It was just a small pub. It was the first gig before our. First Euro tour in this lineup. Yeah. Uh, it like, yeah, it was in a small town with like 60 friends. 
It was place for 15 people. So a room like this? Yeah. I mean, a room like I this. The big there was like 60 people. So it, was, God, it, was, it was really overcrowded. People were warm up geek for the European tour. It was very really good. Yeah. Cool. Have you ever supported or played with any bands that you yes. really look up to? Can you name a few? No, maybe we play Obsidian Stream Festival, so mm -hmm. we played like, all this Agatha class, definitely. Okay, yeah. Was that like a festival? Triple Bastards. Yeah. Yeah, it's Obsidian Extreme is the most known festival in the world. I love it. I love watching the DVDs yeah, from it. Yeah. I love bands like nice that Butcher ABC and stuff like that, and the, the death metal bands that play, and then you've got the grind in the mix. Yeah, it's, yeah, I love it. Yeah, Impaled. Stage diving. You know, yeah. Machine. Very insane. Really good one. So yeah, this festival we played with many bands. Mm. How long ago was that? Was that? How long ago? How many years ago? First we played '99 and second 2004 or 2005. Mm. Nine Some nine. time to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. Cool. So who writes most of the lyrics and what inspires it? I do. <laughs> <laughs> lyrics are mainly about common life and. Mm. No, no fairy tales. No, no porn girl guy. No <laughs> <laughs> real, real story. From yeah, yeah. Work. My main awesome. influence is just reading newspapers mm. with all the shits around yeah. the world, and it just oh, something makes me mm. pissed off about something. It's for the people who don't read newspapers, we tell them again in our lyrics. Okay. No, don't, like don't, don't, don't use the whole word newspaper. <laughs> it's bullshit news. <laughs> and also some stories. So. Yeah. But, Almost like from usual life of every one of us. Mm. Cool. Uh, so so it's not about porn and not about We keep love. saying it's not about porn. <laughs> Torture and I think they like. understand that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not from horror movie taking lyrics. Mm. So. so it's not like cannibal porn or something? No. no blood. When you say no porn though, can you give a better translation of Maldor's sexism? Ah, what's the, that about? Ah, that was the name of the of the song, I think, from yeah. from our first. So what's a better scene. translation? What's that about? If I don't know. I think he did right? the he did the lyrics for the first. Yeah, that's one of the songs. Malagros sexism. I had an erection. Eh? No, no. We have. We don't you remember. Know the you remember the song? Huh? The lyrics of the. We don't play the song anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the deal is, there's a there's a lady here. Um, it's called. She runs a distro. Um, her name's Annie. She's not here at the moment. I wanted her to come, but she couldn't make it. Um, and Annie really like wanted to know that because she's you never meet a bigger grind, um, punk, etc. Crust, all that sort of fan in Tasmania. She's definitely the number one. And that was the first question she told me to ask straight up. Mm. I think it was like one of the seven EP. Yeah, so we yeah, see yeah, yeah. Machismo, 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 yeah. machismo. You're really stuck. Mm. Oh, I don't remember the lyrics. It's, it's, there's like really short lyrics about uh, an erection. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it is. But it's like right. it's like you know it's like. And what was the song we recorded up in? They were young guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> and we don't play so it. Like in, in Czech, anymore. there's like ninety percent of the population is atheistic, and now from the ninety maybe start like new way, and the people are believing to consume and something like that. Mm. And it comes lots of porn and stuff, you know. So the people are using the words mm. for porn movies and the, in life. Yeah, but there's not really much words in porno. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there are lots of. <laughs> Ooh, baby. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. You know, he. He. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Fuck, <But, but> remember. <laughs> you will kill someone with this, though. He is very sick. <laughs> Sorry, that's, illegal, that's illegal Sorry. in Australia, Sorry. it's legal in Manila, but not here. <coughs> it's illegal. Here it is. If you get caught, you get in trouble. In Manila, everyone does it. Yeah. I think in Singapore, you can't tell people. Yeah, not even you chewing gum. Didn't say a thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> caught caught on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I just spit in Hobart. Oh. Oh. Do you get much correspondence? Like, because you're on MySpace and you said there's a global grind community, like family. Do you get a lot of people hitting your page and writing letters and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, Carol is doing a lot of gigs in Prague and in mm. Czech Republic. 
and organizing like two or four bands. Mm -hmm. So a lot of bands are. They always are play, play they are looking for good contacts, and everybody knows that he is like the, the, the best, best one, the <laughs> best, the best <laughs> one in Prague. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, we should they play? They write some comments on MySpace. We wrote about. Mm -hmm. After do we play in some place, you know, some replies. Mm -hmm. the band it was shit. Yeah, I don't so know. Yeah, before, yeah. before, like ten years before, was like just correspondence with the letter, you know, mm -hmm. postcards. Ah, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I can't <laughs> imagine doing set up tour in Australia with like, like yeah. this some internet way. mailing. Who was that? A man of waiting for replies. Sending yeah. postcards. That was so more easy and more fast. What's the difference between being a metal band in Czech, Czech Republic or anywhere else? Like, how is the metal scene in the Czech Republic? What it's would you best say one. about it? The best one. Everybody <laughs> drinking Everyone beer. says they're metal. Everybody yeah. drinking <laughs> beer, smoking marijuana, playing music. <laughs> no if drugs. You, if you go to the show <laughs> in small small towns, there's like 100 people in moshing, drinking. Yeah. So right. I guess everyone would know each other. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, yeah. a lot of bands of grindcore there. Mm. I would say the scene there is very strong. Mm. A lot of bands, mm. a lot of people, but maybe sometimes too much shows uh, because every band. Yeah, for example, in Prague. Mm. Yeah. So many shows that ten people they start to choose which one they go. Uh, which one they don't so they really go. there's too many metal gigs. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's a good problem to have. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> it. No, every week is like one big show, and every day is like some touring, yeah, yeah. touring, touring bands. You know, mm -hmm. every foreign band touring Europe wants to play in Prague. Really? This is this is probably just Prague. nice place and cheap Prague. place. Mm -hmm. uh, in other places, there are maybe hot girls. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why they like. Hot girls. <laughs> I think the prices, of uh, beer, of everything. Yeah. So you've traveled now, Singapore, Philippines. Not you Singapore yet. We will. Ah, so you're going back yeah, to Asia. Yeah. Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, yeah. Australia, and back. Mm -hmm. Malaysia, and Singapore. And so what were the differences Kuwait. with the Kuwait. <laughs> Kuwait. Yeah, just, like, just stop over here. Really. Don't, stop. Bring, don't bring any drugs, because my friend got into jail yeah. when he went to Malaysia. usually do, but no. <laughs> <laughs> For this time, we didn't. They usually yeah. consume it like, before the flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the traveling you've done with your metal scene and the Asian metal scene and the Australian metal scene, can you see differences? Can uh, you see things if, that are if, similar? Yeah, for example, the organization, if we are doing a show mm -hmm. and we invite some band, we pay everything what we promise. Mm -hmm. And they can get like food and place for sleep. Mm -hmm. And for example, Philippines. <laughs> they, they, they pay you with beer. Uh, for example, <laughs> Manila, there was like place for sleep. Maybe some food. Where did you Maybe stay? Some in a motel or? Uh, uh, some squat or squatter. <laughs> half size, half size room of this. Uh, I believe that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Manila really? was pretty. Yeah. Uh, like nice people, but yeah. the organization was like, like, like there is no organization. On low level. Uh, yeah. They need no, more experience. The no problem is they are just write us before they cannot give us you know, money when we play. Oh, few okay. shows in Indonesia for free, but like they really? just promised the money, so we were counting. Mm. So you had to play and, in and we, 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 <laughs> we could like book our flight tickets to Indonesia before, yeah. and then it was too expensive and it was too late. To we had to buy like last minute all the flights because they didn't book it and you paid to give us money for it. So <laughs> then we had to book it last minute, expensive flights. So but we get used. The door, They, they got us like an extra show in Cebu, but they didn't. But you didn't do it. But they, yeah, they, they got us the extra show, but they didn't tell us we uh, have to pay to fly tickets. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I got the extra show for you. Yeah, but, but yeah, you have to pay. Rio de Janeiro. But then we, they were told we had to pay all the tickets there, which wasn't yeah. cheap. But it differs, like from place to place, it was different. Mm. Was the, Really, most of the places were really cool. Yeah. yeah we're not complaining, we're just a little bit disappointed. Yeah, well, at least you got like different experiences. So, what Australian cities have you played so far? Perth. 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 Uh, Adelaide. Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. So, there are similarities? Different? Different. Yeah. Perth was like full record in yeah. the uh, club. Really? Was the club. Yeah. Dead metal fans. So yeah. Like not so many. Yeah. Like crusty or just like yeah. oh. yeah, they're like normal funny. people. <laughs> sometimes it's funny we, we play in Philippines like with dead metal bands and mm -hmm. people they really 
didn't have grind color. Yeah. All that stuff. They were really mm. just. But well, the fact that they don't know what to do, it's too short, you know, too fast. Yeah. And after short, they were asking what, what's the style of the line. Yeah, actually, I've never really seen Filipino grindcore scene, so There's a lot of that's why bands. I was surprised when I heard that there was just grind gigs that you guys played, like your shirt, man. Yeah, crust. Crust. <laughs> I yeah. get it from organizers in my own. Yeah, they didn't make you pay for instead, it. Instead of doing it, the fly tickets. <laughs> cool. So what are your opinions on record labels? Like, do you distribute yourselves, or do you want to get signed, or...? Definitely, we would love experience. It's better be independent. Stick, yeah, stick to MySpace. Well, what do you need? Somebody is better if somebody raised that for you, you don't have to worry about that. Mm. At least you control what you're writing. Yeah, you should still, we'll still be in control of that, but... Mm. We don't like uh, to be like signed to just one label. Yeah. The best one, the best label for us was uh, Machismo Production from Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This was really fast, you know, we yeah. sending the tape and after mm. maybe six months was released. Mm. So we, yeah, we usually release under different labels, which is better like cooperation of more labels. Mm. That was the last EP, it was like five labels from the whole world. Mm. So it's good to promotion also. Cool. Because they promote it in a different mm. country. Yeah. So we don't have to send it. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Obviously, going back to Europe, you'd be touring all over Europe as well. Do you notice any problems with getting visas or things like that? For you who? For, 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 us? for you? No, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just in general. In general, yeah. like. I think it's much, much easier because this is the Schengen, mm. Schengen Treaty. You, you know, know. Oh, yeah, yeah, Slavic. Europe is like no borders, is it? Yeah. 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 But what about and when you had to travel to Asia? Did you find problems getting visas? Oh, we, we, oh. we didn't get a visa. If you, if you pay, if you pay, you don't have money. You don't have problem. Yeah. Like, you pay visa everywhere, like $25. Like, like entry visa. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere we got visa on arrival, so we don't have to ask yeah. for them before. In yeah. Our so even country. in Indonesia? You know, yeah. we, we pay $25 everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. if, uh, for me, like in Indonesia, some. Officer took me to office because yeah. I was uh, wasn't shaved like for two weeks and <laughs> my ear was uh, uh, hurt me my yeah. ear hurt me and I looked maybe like stoned <laughs> <laughs> and his passport was like That's the death sentence man <laughs> in Indonesia <laughs> so they took they, they, they the took time. him aside and checked him yeah, yeah. properly he asked me like what we will do in Indonesia. What are and his picture on his passport is really like, he looks like nine years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my passport was really a like, little bit broken, so. Mm. But it was. Okay. But we had problems to get to the Philippines because we didn't have the onboarding flight from Philippines. Oh, the so, exit flight. Yeah, 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 yeah because they didn't book it. So we couldn't get there. So yeah. it was really horrible. We just did Made so fake reservation fake. to Jakarta quickly. Yeah. She would yeah. fake booking tickets to Jakarta just five minutes <coughs> before yeah. check in and yeah. you know, like running all over the airport. Like email and this phone. Oh, fuck. Sounds God. like you had a lot of fun in Asia. Yeah, it wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys part of any other bands or just organizer? No side projects? Well. <laughs> you will sing now. <laughs> the best band in the world. It's called Empty Feeling. <coughs> Remember that? Got to go. <laughs> What's Empty Feeling? Oh, it's a Do you play guitar and sing ABBA? No, no it's a cover. I'm singing there. It's like that core band from Czech Republic. Oh. Really good. We was touring with Anonizer, so the guys know our band. Yeah. Uh, Did you hear that? Same thing. We're touring with, with us. Tony Gray. <laughs> <laughs> so you they were know. supporting. <laughs> Actually, it's they know that they can drink with us a lot. And can be really fun. We took them out, you know, they, were they are still stuck in the hall in no, one no. city, so we could tell them to see the world. <laughs> was was m much people doing motion than our band. <laughs> yeah, because they played that for girls. You know. And girls, girls. <laughs> Which band gets more groupies? Groupies? <laughs> they have one well, nice, uh, <laughs> because we are sexier. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're porn grind, man. Yeah, because we are on a designer. Oh, I can read in today's schedule on a designer check. They spill it wrong. 
Um, what are the plans for the future? Releases? Music singles. And tour, tour, tour North yeah. Africa. Maybe, yes. maybe some children. Our house. Lot of three kids, two dogs. Grand, grand house, lot of children. Now we are waiting in Mexico. It's mm. a new CD. Mm. Now it, it, it has been released. Released really really Mexico. Like a few uh, weeks ago. It's called uh, Serial Killers TV program. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's not the whole point. Maybe, maybe <laughs> now it's in my house. Waiting for us, I don't know. So you won't see you playing with like uh, dis uh, disgorge Mexican almost, or anything like almost, that. We almost. play in the town where they are from. But On our day off, there was a show of disgorge. At the time we were in Mexico, but the guy didn't book us there because he I don't know why. Sure, some show, million but reasons why he didn't do it. But mm. it was uh, almost he played. Cool. cool. One more question, then you can go drink. Only. <laughs> you like it? More That's questions. More questions. <laughs> Finally on TV. Yeah. <laughs> what is your definition of grind? And who is your favorite grind band? I know you're yeah, a already answered, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But your definition of grind, okay. who is it? Maybe I can say it by myself. Um, yep. For me, it's grind it's more like about energy and some short, loud, rage, and fast. Rage and short, fast, and loud, mm. and it's authentic. Mm. You know, we. Uh, we are the same on the stage and outside the stage. We, mm. we are yes. not like some black like metal band. We don't need both. Yeah. We switch places. Yeah, like Gal. We, yeah, like like lifestyle also. Yeah. We right. praise oh. Satan and then we go to church you know, yeah. after the show. Yeah. So you praise. We say we say rhythm of life. What do you know what it means? It's like a rhythm. Rhythm of, of the, the life. Mm. It's a grind chord. It's last beat. Mm. Rhythm of the life. Just go. running, running, running. <laughs> Living in the fast way. That's Katie signing off with Odinizer here at the Brisbane Hotel. Yeah, right. Stay <laughs>